Hello, my Wolfpack puppies, Wolfpup14 here, and I have just finished recording my reaction to the first part of episode three, so now let's move on to the second part. I feel like recording it right after, so here we go. And I will be taking more screenshots along the way. This is going to have a lot of comparison panels. Oh my goodness, there's gonna be so many. I'm gonna go comparison, comparison, comparison. But not yet, not yet, you'll see. Ooh, they're in the art gallery. It's so dark in this scene. They use their hands a lot when they talk, especially for far away views, I've noticed. It's so fun in a Japanese dub to hear them say, Kul Senpai or Soma Sama, which aren't honorifics that we use. We'd use like Prince or, well, they don't really say Mr. that much. Is that maybe Mr. McKay? Has anyone ever said Mr. McKaywis? Maybe in the English dub? I don't remember. He's crossing his arms. What does that mean? I feel like if he's crossing his arms, he's like a little bit suspicious. This is, this next part is basically just a flashback on trying to ask other people if they've heard the same thing. So like they said, more vouchers. Also, is that Harry Potter or not? Tell me. Dude, this guy? Who does this guy look like? What, what's up with his hair, man? Oh my gosh, it kind of looks like when CL's talking, Maurice Cole is the one saying the words. 18 students! 18 stu- You told 18 students? I mean, I'd understand if it was like four, like the four people when he was tricking Joy and Harcourt, but 18? Oh boy, you're going to, you're going to get caught. Yeah, yeah, look at him stutter. Look at him. <laughs> Perhaps mistakenly isn't is wrong. <laughs> Ooh. So now CL is going to lay down the facts of everything he's found. Yay! He brought in Joy and Harcourt. Another panel that I really enjoy. Those are the four. Okay, so this is a flashback of Joanne telling Sebastian about what happened to him. Gonna skip that, that's a, we already have screenshots for that and we've already recapped over that. This is so pretty. I absolutely love this panel in the manga. Actually, let me pull it up. I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look at it right now, actually. Here it is, yay! I'm just gonna set my phone on top of the manga so it keeps my place. Yeah, you tell him, CL. Now CL just looks disappointed. And on top of that, I'm just reading the subtitles. I don't know if I should be doing that so much. Oh wait, is he angry? Cause it, oh, he's angry. Oh, it looks like he's kind of worried because of the eye patch lines. Uh oh, Maurice Cole's getting angry. Watch out, CL. Our catchphrase for this episode should be, yeah, you tell him, CL. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, oh, you know what that, what's the anime called? It's not an anime, it's more of a game. Oh, it's called Ace Attorney. You know, where the guy's like, OBJECTION! <laughs> Maurice Cole, you really think that you haven't been found, but you've been found. Oh, he's got proof, Maurice Cole. He's got proof. He's got flowers and flowers of proof. Oh, but I do have proof. This is gonna be an exciting scene in the English dub. Oh, he looks, oh my gosh, he looks adorable in this. This is the first time I fangirled this episode. He looks adorable. That's right, Maurice. That's right, Cole. Cower and fear. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you can see a little bit of the English text. <gasps> what does that say? What does that say? Hold on, I'm trying to find out what it says. Hangers on. What are hangers on? Now he goes on listing them, and Maurice goes going to freak out a little bit. Oh, wait, hold on. First, I need to find out what a hangers on is. Oh, so dictionary.com says a person who remains in a place or joins a group, another person, etc., especially in the hope or expectation of personal gain, even though their presence may be neither wanted nor needed. And then Cambridge Dictionary says a person who tries to be friendly and spend time with rich and important people, especially to get an advantage. Oh, so basically the people who want to become his drudge. Hmm, okay. Oh, look at him quivering! Oh. Wait, so, so not even the students made it. He just asked the cook to make the treats. And they're dated? Oh man, how far back do they go? Probably to the start of his year. 
one of my favorite lines is, oh, they were destroyed all right. This next part is extra humorous and hilarious, too. Seal talks about how difficult it was to collect and piece together all of the scraps when really it was poor Sebastian who had to do all the work <laughs> underneath the moonlight. Okay, this one is extra hilarious because while Sebastian is trying to piece together all of the different cards, you can see Seal just drinking his tea in the background and Sebastian gets a little bit annoyed. <laughs> And he says, we worked so hard. Wow, that is going to be a mess to clean up. Well, honestly, not actually, because they're all pieced together thanks to Sebastian and CL, but mostly Sebastian. Wow, this scene is really dim. I can't see a lot of it. Okay, here might be where I'm going to have to stop at the screenshots because this does get a little bit, and I don't wanna, you know what? I don't want to spoil this really important scene from the manga. Oh, pretty rose. Pretty rose of Maurice Coles. Maurice Coles' voice changes for like this one bit, which I was like, yes, finally, we're gonna get to hear his true voice. And then it turns out that his voice is, that maybe it's a bit harsher. All right, so he snaps and I'm actually going to, I'm gonna review these to see if I can grab any screenshots from this scene. Cause this scene does get a little, Oh my gosh, it's the same blonde boys from the beginning. Why are all of his lackeys blonde like him? Except for that one guy that had black hair. So this is where Maurice Cole tries to, he destroys all of the evidence. Here, enjoy some screenshots of Maurice Cole being evil. So look at them looking evil in the background. They look so awkward. It's like they're trying- Is this one trying to mimic Maurice Cole's hair? You're gonna need a better curling iron. Does Maurice Cole even use a curling iron? Oh no. Poor CL. What's he gonna do now? Oh. Oh, this is a good scene. Okay, I think I can grab this one. Cause in- the manga, again, this is where it keeps switching the perspective because in the manga, Maurice Cole is on the left and CL is on the right. I wonder why they switch them. What? Dude, how are the guys in the background still making the exact same poses? Have they even blinked yet? Guys, blink, please. Uh, pretty art in the background. I'm not going to show screenshots of that. Um, let's talk about... The fact that they're switched again. That's so cool. Oh wait, this is the part where I can go comparison, compa should I snap while I do it? Comparison, comparison, comparison. That's gonna take a while for me to edit, but I bet it's gonna look really good. And this is where I'm going to stop the screenshots for a while. So I will just explain what's happening because this is going to get a little bit intense and I don't know if YouTube is going to allow it. Well, it probably will because there I think you can find clips of CL's confrontation, but for the sake of it, I'm not going to do it. I'll just describe it. Flashback of him being cutesy cutesy with Redmond. I'm gonna be really careful around this. Oh, poor CL, he's coughing. They're planning to create rumors around CL, some really bad rumors. They changed some of the lines, which was good. Here, enjoy this picture of Maurice Cole being evil instead. Okay, this is where I can come back with the, with the screenshot. So thank you for being patient. Green Hill and Midford bust open the doors and... Well, you're gonna get in trouble, Cole. I wonder if like CL came up, came with backup or if they were, or if they were with the other prefects listening at this one gazebo or if they were like, and, and then ran to catch up with CL. No, they were probably there. CL probably had his own backup. Yeah, so Greenhill knocks over all of the boys. Oh, that's the same frame. Okay, I thought they were gonna switch that one around too. Oh. Sorry, dude. The one black haired guy in the, on in the group, he just got kicked against the wall. Oh, Maurice Cole dramatically falls to his knees. Uh-oh. Greenhill looks mad. I really like Greenhill's English voice actor. I think a lot of people do. And 
I'm I really want to hear more of his voice actor. Wow. Angry. Oh, no, no, Maurice Cole. This is this is the end of your reign. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, yay! The rest of the Why did How did I forget that the rest of the prefects were there except for Redmond? Wait. Why is Redmond not there? Hmm. I wonder. All right, there we go. Now I can now see us back in the screenshots. Yay! And there's Edward helping him up. Hi, Edward. The brilliant and talented Maurice Cole. Oh, that's what you think. That's what you think. Have you taken history and science lessons? Oh, he looks so cool. Wow. CL looks amazing in this. Wait, does it sound like CL's talking a bit quieter in this? Oh, cool. He's stepping on the floor to show the vibrations. Smart. Man, Maurice Cole, you gotta take more science lessons to know about that. Which, this is Weston College, so wouldn't you think that they have, like... Wouldn't you think that he would have already taken science lessons? You know what I noticed? Something different. In this one, it's showing a man and a woman talking through the can on a string. But in the manga, it's actually Sia and Sebastian doing it. I suppose that they couldn't do that. But it makes sense. Because they don't have anything electronic or or digital, what they have to use is vibrations to communicate through wires and for calls. Okay, oh wow, oh wow, my search engine gives me a response. It says Wi-Fi stations communicate by sending data packets over radio waves through modulation and demodulation of carrier waves. Different versions of Wi-Fi use techniques like direct sequence spread spectrum or orthogonal hi this is editing wolf pub 14 and that word is actually pronounced orthogonal frequency division multiplexing multiplexing wi-fi allows devices to exchange data wirelessly commonly used for local area networking and internet access actually let me look at britannica because that's also a very good source Wi-Fi uses radio waves to transmit information between your device and a router via frequency. Two radio wave frequencies can be used depending on the amount of data being sent. 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. A hertz is just a measurement of frequency. Let's say if you're sitting on a beach watching the waves crash ashore, if you measure the time between each wave crash, you'd be measuring the frequency of the waves. One hertz is a frequency of one wave per second. One gigahertz, on the other hand, is one billion waves per second. The two Wi-Fi frequencies are split into multiple channels so as to prevent high traffic and interference. The first step in the process is initiated by you, the user. When you access the internet on your device, it converts the information you've requested into binary code, the language of computers. The frequencies travel across the radio channels mentioned earlier and are received by the Wi-Fi router that your device is connected to. The router then converts the frequencies back into binary code and translates the code into the internet traffic that you requested, and the router receives that data through a hardwired internet cable. The process repeats itself until you have loaded this article, or anything that requires the internet. All of this happens at an unbelievably fast rate, unless you have the worst Wi-Fi ever. <laughs> Most routers operate at 54 megabytes per second, meaning that when such routers translate and transmit binary data, 54 million ones and zeros are taken in or sent out in a single second. Wow! That's so cool! Guess what? They don't have that in the Victorian era, so they gotta use wires. Oh, he's grabbing the painting! Yes! This is another panel that I was so excited to see. Oh, look at that! Wow! Oh, poor CL, he's got scrapes. This might just be a little bit, a little detail that I've noticed, but the wire's supposed to be going out of the right window. I mean, it is going out of a window, but it's going in kind of like a right to left angle instead of a right and then continuing down. You'll see. Hopefully I can explain that and show it to you. Cower, Maurice Cole. Cower in fear. You've been caught. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now this is just going to be me laughing at Maurice Cole. Oh, 
his eyes are quivering just a little. Oh, wow. There were wires connecting all through the paintings. I like how he's saying Masaka. That's one of the few Japanese phrases that I know. Which is also, which can also be translated as like, no way. But I like how it's translated as, it can't be. It's more proper. Oh, wow. Well, Maurice Cole is yelling in my ear. Let's just enjoy the sparkly water. Something I never noticed in the manga. I didn't realize this when I read the manga. But it turns out that through the vibrations, they go both ways. So Redmond and Maurice Cole can hear each other from both sides of where they are. So they're talking to each other through the wires. That's so cool. In the manga, it's a little bit more difficult to tell. I thought it might have been like a flash flashback or something. I mean, I thought maybe they were talking out on the lawn, but nope, not really. Oh, something tells me Maurice Cole's got to do one more pitiful shout. It's not what you think. Is that what you were going to say? Cool. Oh, bye-bye, Cole. That's the end of your arc. Well, we might get to see you in a later time, but... Okay, why does it look like here that Maurice Cole has eaten something and he's really, really sick and might have to use the bathroom? Just saying. Man, props to the voice actor. My goodness, I hope their voice was not sore after doing this. The others are just kind of standing there watching him. Wow. They're just kind of watching him. Well, CL steps forward. Aw, that's sweet. CL's, CL's forgiving him. There's gonna be no more hard feelings and there's gonna be no more revenge. Oh, except for the fact that CL's gotta get Maurice Cole back by doing one more thing. Man, the music in the background is really good. <gasps> oh, ooh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> this is good. I love how they translated or transformed it to fit the animation. This is great. This is great. I love that. Uh-oh. There's Sebastian up there. Hi, Sebastian. <laughs> I mean, you just see Maurice Cole freaking out. So maybe Maurice Cole does use a curling iron on his hair. Oh, he's so adorable. No, not Maurice Cole. Not Maurice Cole. I mean, CL. Oh, he's so adorable. Oh, bless his heart. He just got revenge on Maurice Cole, but he looks so sweet while doing it. Your makeup skills are first rate. <laughs> so this is the part where Edward Midford comes over to apologize. And just something that I noted, he didn't bow like in like in the manga. And I know that bowing is actually, it's something that they do more often in the Japanese culture. Oh, and the prefects aren't behind him, interesting. But I really would have liked, and I know that we're set in 19th century England, but I really would have liked to see that in the panel. I don't know why, I, I thought it would be a really cute detail, but I mean, he still got the apology, which is good. Oh, and CL apologizes too. Good job, guys. And he kind of, uh, CL, you're too sweet. You said that, you, CL, you said something in the last, in the last episode where he didn't really want to explain himself to Edward. But yes, Edward did need to apologize. Oh, and here is, here's the scene where he's talking to the prefects. And you know what I noticed? They laugh during this scene for a total of about like 10 seconds. That's long. Like we watch a little pan by of all of them laughing together and it lasts for 10 seconds. Wow, does Blue House not show a lot of affection? Well, I mean, they toss their students when they first enter. Oh, Ciel, why are you getting all blushy? Why are you getting embarrassed? You basically just saved everyone. Again, for the who knows how many times. Oh, look at how innocent he looks. Oh, this reminds me of Book of Circus, where he's smiling, where they're like, come on, smile, smile. Oh, here's the laughing scene. They're gonna start laughing, and you guys can count in the episode. It's gonna be like, for 10 seconds. Oh, they're laughing. Yay. <laughs> oh, cute. Did I hear a mm in the background of that all? Uh, and there's Sebastian, he's like, do I get any credit, young master? Do I get any credit? Any credit at all? 
pretty scenery that I can compare. Let's see. All right, yes, I will compare this. There are the doves. Pretty stained glass window. I ask you to be my drudge. Yay! See the Phantom Hive, yay! Birds are flying away. Is that also? Oh yeah, that's also. Oh, but we're behind the bell. Interesting. A little bit of a different setting for Sebastian, I will have to say. He's not really standing in like a, how do I explain it? In the manga, he's standing, I don't really know how to describe it. Not at the rooftop. Well, if he is at the rooftop, then the spires, not the spires, but the whatever you call these things. Parapet? Kind of like a parapet thing. Ooh, Sebastian looks so good. He must know what's happening. He must know that Ciel is, is finally one step closer to finding out what Derek Garden is. Why is no one else there to... Seems like there's no one else there to watch the ceremony of when CL becomes Clayton Strudge. And that's the end of it. Oh, yay. Thank goodness. I've spent two hours uh, doing commentary. And while it was really fun, I've collected, I've acquired so many screenshots. While it was fun, I am tired from all of this talking. And now I got to edit these videos, which is also going to be fun in its own way. This is where I'm going to end the reviews, the Black Butler reviews for a while. Let me know if you enjoy them and I'll pick them up again. I won't be posting them like after every week because I realize this is really the only content that I've been producing for you guys and I want to bring back some of the other content. Like I've got some Star Stable, some Fortnite, some VR videos that I really want to post, but it's, it's kind of difficult when my Black Butler episode review videos take up those two slots on Tuesday and Wednesday. So the reviews will still be coming out. They just won't be. They'll be coming out at later times. I might go back and forth each week. Who knows? Return to my gaming videos and then return to my review videos. But anyway, that, that's enough of... That's enough talking about my schedule. Thank you so much for watching episode 3. So far, episode 3 is my favorite, but... Episode 4 will be coming out when I've recorded this, which is on Wednesday, May 1st. It'll be coming out in three days, which I'm excited for because there's going to be so much that happens in this next one. He actually gets to be there at the Swan Gazebo now that he's a drudge. And there's not much left of this final chapter, chapter 72. So I wonder what else they're going to feel because they have been, they've been meaning and wanting for it to be two chapters each. So where are they going to stop it? We get to see a little bit more of the prefects that we love, a little bit more of Edward Midford, Headmaster Agaris. Oh, I know where they're going to end it on. Oh, uh -huh, I just got an idea. Well, anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, howl on. Howl! Um. Um. Uh. Um. Um. Uh. Um. Uh. Um. Ah, he's grabbing the painting! Yes! This is another, um, another, um, um, uh, um, uh, uh, um. So, um, uh, um, ba ba ba. More screen shots. I'm trying to take as little screenshots as I can, but most of the time they're just so good, I gotta get all the screenshots. I gotta get the screenshots, so I'm just hearing him repeatedly yell. Hold on, let me get screenshots of all of this. I didn't think I'd have to get a screenshot of a puddle, but. Last hurrah! Last hurrah of screenshots! Well, at least the uh, subtitles will give me a good base on how, so I know how big the screenshot should be. I probably should have said that they're obviously going to be spoilers. I'll start adding that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like, I'm, here it is! Yay! Or, or, oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, oh, you know what that, oh. <laughs>
hang hangers on what are hangers on and then cambridge no I th i'm pretty sure it's cambridge <clears throat> oh look at him quivering oh i don't really feel that bad for you marie school man ciel is looking at these like they're treats and candy to eat <clears throat> Why is all of this <clears throat> and <clears throat> using others as a talent in its own right? What? Well, I, it's not a good talent. It's not nice. Wow, all of this stuff that Maurice Cole is saying, I, I hate it. I don't like it. Are these your hangers on? Uh, this line here. Uh, they kept it. Actually, you know what? Let's not talk about that line. Playing the goody goody? Do you mean goody two shoes? I mean, maybe. Maybe I could. Okay, anything with like. Okay, so he. And. I'm gonna be really careful. Okay, this is where the. I wonder if like CL came up. came. came with backup or if they were listening at. Sorry, dude. The one black-haired guy in the on- in the- in the- You know what I noticed? Something different? <clears throat> oh, wait. So, what- what my- you, you, You'll see. Hopefully I can explain that and show it to you. Oh, thank goodness I'm still recording. Because if I wasn't recording when I was giving you that description of Wi-Fi stations and routers, whew, that would have been annoying. <clears throat> <laughs> This is good. I love how they translated or I love how they translated or <coughs> Man, the music in the background is really good. <gasps> oh, can I can't wait for the musical scene at the cricket tournament. Oh, that's going to be fun. He doesn't I, I don't know why this just bugged me a little. Are Maurice? Why do I keep calling everyone Maurice Cole? Are Gregory Gregory, really? Are Gregory Violet's lips even moving? I can't really see. Oh, that's gonna be one for the bloopers. Does Blue House not show a lot of affection? Well, I mean, they toss their students up on a... They toss their students when they first enter. That's what makes you a true Weston man. Can you go to the midnight tea party yet? Oh, that hasn't been announced. Oh, shoot. Darn. All right, yes, I will compare this. There are the doves. Oh, no, now I gotta search that. It sounded like he was saying, okay. That's funny. Professor Agaris, uh, Professor, uh, 